Hey everyone, I'm Howard Pinsky, and in this video we're going to take a look at a brand new plugin that will change the way you build presentations in Adobe XD. Let's get to it. Here we are in Adobe XD with a nice blank canvas, and I'm going to dive straight into the plugins panel, where I have quite a few already installed, including the presentation plugin, which you can find by pressing the plus button at the top and searching within the browse experience. Launching the plugin, you can get straight to work with various pre-designed themes ranging from minimalistic to bold and geometric, and clicking on any will allow you to preview some of the slides that will be available once loaded, the first of which will be your cover slide. Over to the left, you can browse through the available variants, not just for the cover, but a whole range of slides by clicking on the arrow to the right of each type. And if you have an existing selected, clicking on any will apply it to that artboard, or if none are selected, new slides will be added to the right. As you're building your presentation, you may need to rearrange the various slides you've been working on. You can, of course, shift them around on Canvas, but within the My Projects section of the plugin, you can drag to swap the positions, which will also rearrange on Canvas. Just like any other project in XD, you can dive in and change the content to fit your presentation. But you might notice that as you're making edits, the panel over to the left dynamically changes based on what's selected. Text layers will show additional styles and colors, and if you tweak any of their properties, you can save the new custom styles straight from the panel. Colors and character styles are also saved to your document assets, where you can make global edits if you wish. Selecting images will initially display a search result based on the theme's style, and a curated collection of photos at the bottom. Or if you have something specific in mind, like tacos, you can search at the top. In addition to type and images, the Elements tab acts as a one-stop shop for many designs you may typically add to your presentations. And each category, icons for example, can be expanded to reveal more, where you can browse and search for what you need. Just like with images, even after an element has been added, it can quickly be swapped out with a new one, and towards the bottom of the panel, the color of the icons, since they're fully vector, can be swapped as well. Let's hop back and add in a quick illustration to further bring our presentation to life. And if I need to, I can dive in to select and tweak the individual vector layers that make up this design. Now, through the magic of time travel, here's a completed presentation I designed using this plugin. And I'm pretty happy with the content, but may want to explore what the other themes may look like. Right from the panel, you can browse through the other themes and apply them with a click. Any elements that were not manually overridden will be updated to reflect the new design. And when your images are selected, you'll now see new and relevant recommendations. Lastly, it wouldn't be a presentation plugin without showing it off. Straight from XD, launching the preview will kick off the presentation, and using the left and right arrow keys will navigate between your slides. If you're wanting to share this with stakeholders for review and feedback, Selecting the necessary artboards will display a share icon above the first. This will automatically wire up your slides left to right, top to bottom, and generate a link that you can pass along to your team. Of course, if you're looking to add motion between slides, you can jump into prototype mode to take advantage of auto-animate and a variety of triggers, including keys and gamepads. Now when your presentation is previewed, elements that are present on both artboards will animate beautifully. And that's a look at the presentation plugin for Adobe XD. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe for more content. Follow me on Twitter, and I'll see you all next time.